Hey everyone, it's Eric Thorier and today we're talking about the ENFP champion and this is five reasons of ENFP honor, five examples of why ENFPs have high honor. So what I've found is that ENFPs are probably one of the most honor-oriented personality types. That means they think the most about the matters of uh, integrity, authenticity, ethics and character. These are the things that an ENFP value the most. Now. The first example of ENFP honor is their hard rock integrity. So this is ENFP hard rock integrity. What hard rock integrity means is ENFPs take pride in being who they are. They take pride in their interests, their hobbies and their passions. That means they want their hobbies, their individuality, their ethics, their identity to be respected. No matter how different, no matter how odd it might appear, they want you to treat their interests as something interesting and something worth respect. That means if you insult an ENFP for how they dress or what music they listen to or how they act or what they do, you insult an ENFP's very being, very character. And ENFPs, they have hard rock integrity, which means they will stand up for themselves and for what they like and for what they enjoy. They will not sit quiet if you insult their hobbies or passions. They will not uh, uh, just ignore you if you uh, brush over what they like or who they are. If you offend them on that level, you can expect retaliation. The ENFP will stand up for themselves and will show that you cannot infringe on their boundaries on that level. You can't step on their toes or dismiss them or belittle them for who they are. That just won't do. So if you do that, I would suggest apologize quickly. Number two, and that's ENFP energy dancing. ENFPs, they believe a bit in um, trash in, trash out. That means if you treat an ENFP like trash, they're gonna treat you like trash. ENFPs, they are energy dancers. That means they are not aggressive types. They will not just attack you outright for no reason. ENFPs, they match your energy, they vibe with people. That means they pick up on your intentions, your interests, your energy, what you're like, what your mood is. They pick up on all these things and they match this energy. That means if you give them negativity, they will give you negativity back. And if you can show or attempt to hide this, they will still pick up on it. That means they don't just react to verbal signals or obvious uh, disrespect, they also pick up on non-verbal disrespect. They notice eye rolls, they notice when you don't look them in the eyes, they notice when you seem to be hiding something or when you seem to be covering something up or when you seem to be angry without explaining it to them. And they will confront you on this. And that brings us to point number three. ENFP police interrogation. If you know an ENFP, you've probably experienced this. ENFPs notice when something is up and they will question you about it. They will ask you what you're up to, what you're feeling, what's going on, what's happening. And they will often do this in a kind of rapid and kind of interrogative style. That means they will really try to get to the bottom of things. They won't let you just brush over answers or uh, say half answers or brush over things. Basically, they will try to figure out what's going on, what's up, what's happening. And this cold kind of questioning style, this objective kind of rational, where were you? What did you do? How did it feel? Why, why did you say it like that? What, that kind of thing can feel like you're really under the radar. You're really standing in front of the spotlight uh, in the police interrogation chamber and being like, uh, uh, I was, uh, I don't know, I, I was uh, just, uh, <laughs> you know, it uh, can really uh, push you on that level. So it can feel a bit like, uh, antsy to be under that radar, to be in that position. Uh, however, ENFPs are, like I should say, not hostile people. And if you are just upfront with them, if you just explain to them what's going on, they will be very understanding. So if you can say, yeah, I was having a bad day, or yeah, this was going on, or that was up, or that was a problem for me, or I, I struggled a bit with what you said at that time, or what happened there, 
usually they'll be like, oh, oh okay, then I get it. Oh, yeah, that can happen. I can also have a bad day. Yeah, that can happen to me too. You know, they, they are very understanding people and they're not the, there to make you, uh, to come down on you or anything. They just want to know what's up and what's happening and they just want to make sure there's no bullshit going on that they're not aware of. Point number four, and that is the ENFP karmic justice warrior. So uh, ENFPs, they believe in karma. They believe that good deeds will lead to good things. That means they believe that bad things will lead to bad things. Uh, that also means that a lot of time they believe that karma needs a bit of help. So they believe in karma, but they do also believe that karma sometimes needs a bit of a push. That means sometimes they are the karmic justice warrior. They are the person to restore karma and to instill, dish out karma when karma needs to be dished out. So if a person is being manipulative or dishonest or unethical or dishonorable in any way, if they show bad character, if they are show disrespect, ENFPs will usually put themselves in the position of the karmic justice warrior, that person that will fix it, a person that will teach the other person a lesson. And here, the ENFP is not so much a warrior as a teacher. They're just here to teach you a lesson. What they will do to you uh, is meant to sting, to hurt your pride, to uh, be kind of a slap in the face, uh, but it's not meant to be an aggression. It's only there to teach you a lesson. It's meant to say you did something wrong, learn, change, fix it. So ENFPs, they're not there to uh, hurt you or they don't have bad intentions. They're just trying to teach you and to change you and to help you understand that you did something wrong. Beyond that, I think it should be worth mentioning that ENFPs, ENFPs are people that will not just believe empty promises. So if you just say, oh, I'll change it, or I'll do it differently, or I will uh, not do it again, it'll be like, hmm, okay, are you sure? I mean, ENFPs, they are forgiving types. ENFPs forgive actions and show, uh, forgive uh, people that show uh, a genuine desire to change, but th they can see through when people are just uh, pretending or they say, oh, well, yeah, no, it was, I didn't mean it, or, oh, it was not real, or, uh, no, I won't, uh, maybe I will not do it again, something like that. The, these half-assed uh, apologies will not work on the ENFP, so they want to see genuine, examples of change they want to see genuine examples that you listen and that you will do differently that you will be different so if you are able to show that you can be honest if you're able to do something good if you're able to set the record straight if you're able to do something to make up for what you did they'll be forgiving they'll be like okay yeah then it's great then it's all good and honestly they are very forgiving types that means they can forgive quickly and they can let go quickly they can be angry in the heat of the moment, but five minutes later, if it's fixed and if you owned up to it and if you did better, they're good, they're happy, they're cheerful, they're enthusiastic, they're back to their normal selves again. And it's who they are. So uh, it's a, an incredible lightness to it, you know, because you can feel that though ENFPs are hostile or they're uh, angry, but you can also see that, yeah, they are people that really dance on energy. So they move with the flow of the room and with the energy and the vibe of other people in the group. When they feel a bad vibe, they go into a bad mood. When they feel a good mood vibe, they go into a good mood. And that's how the ENFP changes and how they transform. So that's just something very positive. Finally, number five is just an extension of the ENFP karmic justice warrior. This is the ENFP bitch lab. The ENFP bitch lab is a sign of an ENFP's pride and code of honor. It's um, when you receive the ENFP bitch lab or when you're in that position, it's just you did something you shouldn't have. And this is a warning shot. The ENFP bitch lab is not meant to uh, be a mayor, a punishment. It's just meant to be a kind of back off thing. It's meant to be like here, but no further. If you uh, did something wrong, they'll say something that will hurt, a sting, just a little bit, just enough for you to notice that, oops, I should not have said that, or that was not the right thing to do. So ENFP bitch lab is really not so dangerous. It can be verbal, it can be physical. Uh, it's just a sign that, yeah, you disrespected them and they wouldn't stand for it and they 
gave you back for it. <laughs> you uh, did something you shouldn't have and you needed to listen and you didn't listen to them and they punished you for it. And hopefully you won't do it in the future. Hopefully it will sting just enough that you notice, that you learned and that you were ready to move on. So those were my five examples of ENFP honor. Do you as an ENFP have any other examples of ENFP honor? Can you tell me a situation when you showed ENFP honor or when you gave somebody a bitch slap? What, what happened? What did you do? What, why did you do it? Uh, and of course, if you like this video, feel free to check out my other videos and to subscribe for more content in the future. Thank you all for watching. See you all in the next video.